So I'm starting my shadow composition and oh it's a bit windy I hope that doesn't make it hard. Well there's my hand. And I've got a pot plant over here. I've decided to respond to the drawing prompt on the drawing prompt list which is um, a monster hiding. I've got this silly little um, monster stop toy. And I'm going to try and make him look like he's part of the composition as well and he's hiding. Uh, some sort of interesting glass which has got a really nice shadow. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the deer and I've got an egg cup um, which would need to come over here to work. And I want to be able to arrange the objects. I've got my pencil so I can trace them. I want to be able to arrange the objects so I've got an interesting composition. And probably about three or five. Odd numbers are good with compositions. So, oh, and you need the sun. So there went the clouds. Oh, we're back again. Oh, that's a good shadow. And I'm thinking about, I'm just turning it and thinking, where do I want different parts of the shadows to go on my composition? Um, that's quite interesting. I think the monster is probably an important one. Oh. I don't know, I think the closer he is, the smaller the shadow will be. Except the sun's from coming over here. Hmm, let me just try something. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to just put the monster aside because I can't hold him at the same time. And I'm going to start over here with my pencil, right way up. And I'm going to trace the shadow. And I could even extend a bit further and go, there's some really pretty little shapes going on in here with this cut glass. It's called cut glass, so it's sort of bumpy glass. That, um, it's creating some quite interesting nice shapes. Okay. So I'm now going to come in and trace around, you know, you can go a bit slower, I'm doing this quite fast so you can see quickly what to do. Oh, there's a little bit of a wind, so the plant is sort of moving a little bit. Ah, oh, no, stop moving. Oh, and he goes the sun. Okay, is it going to come back? Or do I need to pause? No, we're back. Here we go. Okay, I am actually going to pause because I want to try and hold that still. So I need two hands. So in a moment, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm just going to move the pot plant out of the way. Um, so it's moving around quite a lot. There's lots of great shadows that makes so. though. And I'll leave the, the glass there, that's okay. And I've got my monster. I'm going to think about where he's going to go. And I'm just going to pause again to draw him because um, I need two hands. Okay, so there he is. And the last thing I'm going to do is think about uh, my composition and am I satisfied with it? Is there something else? I might, might want to add to it. So I'm just going to square it up a bit and have a good look. And maybe try this Ed Cup. Is there another shape um, that I might want to add into it? I probably don't want to go over my monster because I want him to be, he's part of the story. Oh, the sun's going again. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little shape in the corner up here just to balance things out. Oh, when the sun comes back. And we're going to come back. Sun. There we go. Cool. Okay, so that's a simple line drawing. Um, I'm actually going to zazz mine up with a bit of a, a felt dip pen or a vivid. So I'm going to um, have a look over here. I've just gone through my felt collection. You might have some crowns even maybe, even kids crowns would be quite cool for this. 
um, you know, that's not that's a blue one, but I've just got my sharpie here, which means you'll be able to see it really clearly. And I'm going to come in, just stairs it up, like so. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. All right, there we are. Now, I've actually realized I haven't followed my own instructions. I've only got three, or four, which is an even number. I could decide to leave it like that. Oh, my hand could be another shadow shape to use. Um, I could choose to leave it with just four, because uh, I am I'm pretty happy with that composition. But um, odd numbers often work really well in composition, so I'm actually just going to try bringing in the deer. And actually, that's cool. Look at that shadow. So I'm just quite conscious of this big open space around here. I like the contrast of having some plainer spaces. I'm wondering, what do you reckon? Is it there? There? Hmm. You're probably, you're probably talking to me, you go, there, miss, there, there, miss. <laughs> oh, fire V, <bee>. fire V. <laughs> okay, I think, yeah, there, okay. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, cool. So, we are inspired by Len Lai, who's a New Zealand artist, when we explore shadow and light. And... He was actually quite an abstract artist, so, you know, you might be able to spot the monsters in there, maybe the plants, but also it's quite abstract now, which is interesting in its own right. So I can choose to leave it there, or I can choose to add some more contrast with blocking in some of the shapes. I'm going to take one more step, and then you can have a go yourself. Alright, so I'm now finished. As you can see, I have shaded in um, three of the shapes so keeping it in its odd numbers again I've got five all together and I've shaded in three and without inspiration from Len Lai to make an abstract drawing from nature or objects around us we have used line created shapes explored negative and positive space and the positive are the shapes, the shadows, and the background is the negative. And we've kind of cheated it a bit by swapping it, making it look like now this, these two shapes are actually in the background, or negative. And we have explored composition. Okay, choose five objects from around your home. If it's windy, uh, which it is a little bit here, it was quite tricky, you can also do it inside by a window. Oh, there goes the sun again. <laughs> Uh, or you can use a lamp or turn the lights on at night in your house to create shadows. Okay, enjoy.